All right, so it's the 22nd um, of October, and today is the release of this, which is Biffy Clyro's new album. And for those who have been watching the channel uh, for a while, although I had a right issue last year with uh, the cassette uh, limited edition releases of um, Biffy Clyro's album last year, where I didn't get the signed art card, and they ended up uh, just refunding the postage for it because, you know, they fucked up. Anyway, this isn't available on cassette, at least not at the time of recording, uh, but uh, yeah, I got this on HMV. So yeah, this is their new album, uh, the, Myth of Happy the Myth of the Happily Ever After. Now this is a limited edition version on Reg Vinyl that comes with a CD um, of a Celebration of Endings uh, concert. I don't know if it's the full thing, might be full concert but yeah there we go it's also obviously available on cd i really do like this artwork this is really nice artwork and it is uh, a gatefold so that's nice because uh, their previous one was not a gatefold uh, this one is oh, it's got, it's got that kind of papery sort of uh, finish to it but there you go so yeah, it's just a single line because it is just a gate. Okay, okay. So you can see the way they've done that. So it was interesting to see how they would package the CD. And here's uh, the CD, which I uh, will be ripping and putting on my phone. No download code, which is, you know, unfortunate. But yeah, there you go. It's quite nice, that. It's quite nice. Now, obviously, even though I did have a bad experience with the Biffy Clyro website last year, it doesn't stop me enjoying Biffy Clyro's music. Their music. Um, I'm trying to put this CD back in. And it doesn't want to go back in. There we go. It's not particularly well held there. Yeah. But, uh, there we go. It, it is in there. So, let's take a look at the vinyl record itself. Yeah, there is no download record, I thought so. So I'll get some artwork on it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought this was part of the sleeve. It's not this. Just uh, literally an art card. So yeah, just white on the back of it. There you go. That's quite nice. That's quite nice to have. This is a very... This is... Uh, it looks like a cardboard sleeve. It's actually just a... That's kind of very thin card sleeve. Uh, there you go. Is this... Song lyrics or... S I think it might be song lyrics. I don't know. It's just like a bunch of jotted down sort of information. Yeah, it says a PVC. Oh, that is... That's a very, very vibrant red. A very vibrant red. It is uh, also slightly uh, translucent as well. I do like the fact that um, on this side they've incorporated uh, the CD artwork onto there. So that's quite nice. On this side, you have all the track listings as well. Um, it's annoying that it doesn't say... Well, I could say this side is... So that's side B, and that is side A. So there you go. It would be nicer if they had, um, you know, rather than just having the track listings on one side of the actual vinyl itself, have it on both. Might have one on both, you know, have the tracks on each side on both, but oh well. Yeah, that is uh, really nice, and it's nice to have in the collection. So, yeah, overall, happy to have this. Um, it was, I think it was about £30, and it's generally about £30 at most places, but yeah, it's available, obviously, uh, from today. And £30, you know, for getting the record and the live concert on CD, it's quite nice. It would have been nice if both were on vinyl, um, so you had, you know, Disc 1 be the new album and Disc 2... Uh, be the live concerts, but uh, oh well, maybe they might do that in the future, but uh, yeah, for now, there we go.